trucks in Australia. Today, we are going to take a look at the Australian trucks and what it's like to be a truck driver in Australia. Australia is about the same size as the USA, but has a population of approximately 24.5 million, compared to the USA's 330 million. Australia's population resides mostly on the eastern coast. There are six major cities across the continent, so the freight movement is very different. This means the majority of Australia's freight runs from Melbourne in the south to Sydney or Brisbane. Because the country and the infrastructure are as they are, it requires a wide selection of trucks to be able to solve the various tasks as best as possible. Therefore, trucks in Australia are very diverse. There is a big difference between the trucks you will see, which spans over light duty, medium duty and heavy duty trucks, loading up to over 120 tons, with three and four trailers, as well as both long-nosed and cab-over trucks. There is a wide range of brands represented in Australia, everything from Kenworth, Volvo, Isuzu, Mercedes-Benz, Scania to Freightliner and so on. One of the reasons why there are so many different types of trucks is due to some of the rules in Australia and that the driving is so different depending on whether a lot of goods are to be transported very far or smaller goods close to the city. Here, the cab over trucks are significantly easier to maneuver. Essentially, they are more compact and easier to work with in traffic and urban environments. Where the long nose trucks are more comfortable and more spacious for the long trip. There are some differences in terminology. In Australia, truck drivers are called truckies, not truckers. The tractor is called a prime mover, not a tractor. A tractor in Australia is what a farmer uses to dig up his field to grow his crop. On the roads. With thousands of miles of road between the cities and no hills to cross, the Australian road train makes good sense. The normal road train is made up of three 44-foot trailers with a twin axle and turntable dolly under the front of the trailer. The load is 120 tons, spread over the three trailers. The normal road train is made up of three trailers and can be up to 53 meters in length, but in the mining game, they haul six trailers or more. In Australia, you can drive four hours without stopping, then you must stop for half an hour. You cannot drive for more than 12 hours in one day, but most drivers break regulations every day. A driver has a logbook to fill out, but that means nothing. It's called the Book of Lies. The roads in the outback can be narrow and rugged. Also, the weather is something the Australian truck drivers have to keep in mind, as it can be incredibly hot and dry, where temperatures can reach up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. This places a great demand on the tires, the amount of fuel and the amount of water you have to take with you on the road, as large amounts of rain can also come and create unexpected situations for the driver. As to what you are seeing in Australia, near the coast there is normal farmland, but in the outback, you do not know what you will see next. At night, there are lots of kangaroos. They are actually a big animal weighing up to 90 kilograms or 198 pounds. That's why the trucks have big roo bars, or also called bull bars, on the front of the trucks. It is not unusual to hit four or five kangaroos on one trip, and they can do more damage than you think. Truck and Trailer Rules The trucking industry in Australia has very stringent vehicle length and weight regulations. Most trainer equipment is 45 feet or 48 feet in length, with some 53-foot trailers operating in certain freight lanes. Almost all trailers are fixed triaxle combinations, with some quad axles working on the heavier carriers. Because of the strict length laws, a large percentage of prime movers are cab overs with the bonneted trucks running either as single trailer units or on stock cartage, where the length laws are different. Freight in Australia is either high volume, for example parcel or light freight, which is normally a full trailer, or heavy freight, loaded to the vehicle's maximum gross weight. Other than refrigerated vans, most trailers are curtain side units. 
The trucking industry in Australia operates under a code of conduct or chain of responsibility which involves the whole supply chain. If a consigner, receiver, or loader loads or allows a vehicle to be loaded overweight and is not correctly restrained, or if they allow a truck driver to operate illegally in relation to speed and driving hours, they can be held accountable and prosecuted under the law, along with the truck driver. This puts some responsibility back to the freight forwarders and trucking companies to make sure the truck driver has sufficient hours and equipment to make the trip without the need to break the law. Lack of drivers The wages are not too bad for Australian truckies. They earn around 600 a week. The average wage in Australia for other blue-collar jobs is about 375 a week. However, it also requires many hours of work, long days, and periods where you spend the night in trucks and are away from home. A shortage of drivers has been an ever-increasing problem for some years in Australia. With an average age of about 54 years, not enough young people are joining the industry. Many are leaving the trucking industry in Australia due to over-policing many workout hours away from home, and a huge lack of respect for the profession. Some of the larger companies have used an immigration loophole to bring in unskilled overseas truck drivers. The results of this have been disastrous, as you could imagine. In each state in Australia, the majority of heavy vehicle incidents are caused by these unskilled immigrant drivers. We hope for a bright future for the Australian truckers. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for much more.